Same thing, different day. You're watching your screen, you see your trade come up, you try to get in, but you're just not quick enough. I can fix that. What's going on team? It's your boy Jada and Trades with Team Bull Trading. And today I'm going to walk you through step by step how to set up your active trader to trade options on it. I'm going to show you some different things you can use to execute better. I'm going to overall walk you through how to use this platform, whether you're a beginner or you're an advanced trader and some things that may help you out along the way. As always, we're going to keep this video straight to the point and full of value. And all I ask is you consider hitting that like and subscribe button in the bottom right corner. And let me know in the comments what you want to see next, your thoughts, concerns, and other questions you may have regarding this video or things we're going to teach in the future. Now, whether you're a beginner or an advanced trader, the things we're going to cover and go over today will be very beneficial to you in your day trading and execution. So here we're watching SPY, you know, let's say it's 735 in the morning, we're watching for our first trade of the day and we're watching over this 440 level. Now typically trading options or trading in the stock market, we'd be watching this equity chart. When we're ready to take our option trade, we have to go to all products, we have to go here, let's type in SPY, get our option up. Let's see, I'm not really sure what happened there. Let's take that off, that off. So now we have this, right? We have our options here, have our expiration date. We have to click our strike price, you know, go down, click our contracts and send. It takes a lot of time, so I'm trying to say. And, you know, in the stock market, time is money. You know, 5, 10, 15, 20 seconds can be turned into hours and can turn into burned trading accounts. So how do we speed that up? How do we increase our execution and our confidence? I'm going to show you right now. So first, we want to click on trade. Then we want to go over to active trader. Right, so typically we start with one chart. This is what you're gonna have if you've never set this up before. You're gonna be looking at this and maybe even something like this, right? The chart might not, not, might not even be on there. So all of our options are over on the right side. We wanna click on chart right here and have Active Trader up. Now next, we wanna to go to this top right corner under On Demand, click here. We wanna click on the two squares. Okay, let's do that. Next, let's go to our ticker symbol box, type in SPY. Click on the chart again. So now we have both charts set up side by side. And again, later on in this video, make sure to stick around for this. We're going to set up six different ones. And so I'm gonna show you how on a 32 inch screen, how I would ideally have you set up if I was the one, they're coaching you one-on-one. -on -one. So for now, we have our two screens here. We have our spy equity on the left. Now on the right, we have our equity here. That's about to change. So we wanna go up to this top symbol link button right here, right? Click on this, we're gonna click red one, okay? It doesn't have to be red one, you can click any of these, but we're gonna start with red one. All right, so we click red one. Now we're gonna go over to all products. Again, this is our option chain. Now let's say we're watching SPY over 440 and we wanna take these 441 calls. So instead of having to go and click this and click our contracts and click all this, we can simply go to these 441 calls, right click, go to down to send SPY to red one. You guys see this? Click this, we're gonna see this screen, right? So now we go to Active Trader, and now we have our option contract pulled up on the screen ready to rock and roll. We have our equity on the left, our option on the right. So how can this help you? How can you trade faster with this? Um, you know, I had a video last week on hotkeys where I showed you how to set up your keyboard to get in and out of trades extremely fast. You can use those same concepts here. So first we wanna go to this little, let's call it a wheel right here. Click on this, and we want to drag auto send on up and quantity with buttons up as well. Press OK. So now it looks like this. So this is going to be the number of contracts we're trading, right? This 10, I would typically, if you're a beginner, recommend starting with one contract maximum. And again, we teach this every day in our Discord. We trade live. And so if you're look, looking to learn what contracts are, how to better trade, how to increase your confidence, we do that all, and the links are in my bio. So this is one contract. We want to make sure this auto send is on too. We click this, and what this is going to do is it's going to prevent a uh, confirmation message coming up from when we buy. So let's say we don't have this on. We click. We're going to have to click again to confirm the order. But if we do have this on, the second we click this buy market, or if we click our hotkey, we're in just like that. So I recommend trading like this, right? We have this set up. We have one contract up. We have our contract pulled up on this screen. We're watching it. I'd also recommend having your level two pulled up. You can see exactly what you're gonna be paying for your contract. If you're buying the ask, you'll be paying this price over here. If you're selling the bid, you'll be selling it for this price over here. So we're sitting there, we have this done. We don't have to have this up anymore. We're watching the stock price over here. We get to our 440, we click buy in, right? We're in, we're watching our contract move. We can clearly see it. And you know, let's say it goes up from 115 a contract to 120. We click our, our sell button, we made five bucks, we're out easy as pie. So now you say, well, Jay Dunn, what if I'm watching, you know, two, three, four stocks at once? 
this is what you can do. So we have one stock done, right? Hopefully that makes sense. You have, we have our contract over here. We have our stock over here. We can, we can watch the equity price while trading the contract to the right. I'm telling you, you learn this, it will be game changing for your trading. So we wanna watch two, three stocks at once, no problem. We're gonna pull up six right here. Let's say, let's just put SPY here for all of them, just, you know, for our six, right? SPY, SPY, let's go SPY. And can you guess the last one? SPY. So we have all these pulled up. Let's pull up the charts for each of them as well. Chart, 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 chart. So now what we can do is let's say we want to watch these SPY 441s here. Maybe we're, we're, we're going to want some 442s as well. We go back to this all products tab. Now you want to go to this top left corner. You don't want to delete this contract. If you delete this, it will take it off your red one. Instead, you want to click on the symbol link, go to yellow two, click this, and you go, then you can change the name. Go back to SPY. Let's change, let's get these 442 contracts pulled up to yellow two. Send again to yellow two. Okay, an active trader. Now let's switch this right here, the symbol link to yellow two. Now we have our 441s up here. We have our 442s down here. We have both of our SPY charts. Now you can do the same process for as many stocks as you want. We can go back to all products. You can change the Blue, well, I guess we can only do nine. There's only nine different colors. So you can watch up to nine contracts with nine different stocks at one single time. So technically speaking, we could go and we could have up to, you know, 18 different stocks um, <laughs> at one time. We could have it look like this. I wouldn't recommend doing this. It, it's pointless, but you could do it if you were feeling like a go-getter. So that's how you set those up. I'd recommend having six to eight at a time. You know, otherwise you're gonna end up doing too many things at once. You know, the saying goes, the person who chases two rabbits at once catches none. So chase one rabbit, chase one stock at a time, or have six up in your screen and watch one particular, particularly at a time. And that's the best way, in my opinion, to do this and become, to become a successful day trader and using these strategies. So in conclusion, the notes you need to take from this video. I showed you how to set up your hotkeys um, in previous videos. I showed you how to set up your active trader in this video, and you need to use both of those hand in hand. You know, if you can have your hotkey set up, your active trader set up, your auto send on, you know, all you have to do is click, boom, boom, you're in your option contract. Boom, boom, you're out of your option contract. You know, it's as easy as that. It increases your execution. And in the end, it increases your confidence too. And the thing that, you know, people don't get is that when your confidence is increased and when you know your abilities are better to get in and out, that's going to improve your trading. You're not going to, you're not going to trade scared. You're not going to trade with emotion. So little things like this can mean the world to your trading. I hope, you know, worldwide, Whenever you're seeing this video right now, a year from now, two years from now, whether you're watching it for the fourth or fifth or 10th time, I hope you're getting value from it. And you know, I hope you're having a, a successful trading journey. I'd love to keep helping you out in the future. All I ask is you hit that subscribe button and uh, check out the link in my bio. If you want to trade with us, we trade live every day. We send signals and we have a, a community based on growth and helping each other. So take care. Have a great day.